and welcome back to Lady and the Frogs. And it is a whole day, um, which appears to be quite an extensive amount of stuff, which I have here. Which I didn't think I had that much, but <laughs> it appears that I do. <laughs> so this is stuff that I've sourced over the last month. Um, fair amount of clothes. And I thought I'd been being careful and trying not to pick up too many clothes, but I have got loads of clothes. And I've got lots of bric-a-brac. Lots. No, it's not lots. It's just stuff that I need to deal with because the Christmas tree still isn't up, so it needs to go up. So, I know I'm not going to get this listed today, but I'm going to start processing it today, even though it's gone a bit dark. Um, and hopefully that doesn't mean I'm not going to like see the fact that I've probably got like massive pit stains on things which I haven't noticed. But anyway, I'm going to jump right into it because obviously there's loads and it needs to be sorted. So the first thing I have is a Paul and Shark yachting t-shirt, which is three pounds. And I have put these things on my spreadsheet, but I haven't taken these stupid tags off. So I'll take the tags off because they're going to annoy me. Uh, yeah, so that's the label. Probably won't start sell until summer, but you never know because people do have holidays. It's only going to be a 20 quidder. I think most things have dropped in price, just in general. And it's a pain in the arse. So I have a dress, fabulous actually, quite fabulous. Probably need to come back a bit. So nice and ruched, nice. Um, stretchy fabric this is ingenue I have never found this brand um, on a regularity I have I've never found a dress with it I have found a top which I thought would sell for a lot more and it only sold for £20 but it did sell fast so obviously I spent £4 on that um, let's get the tag off and this one is totally like random sizing I think this one's a size 18 so size 18 with scalloped look there's my dresses and I do believe I have another one here very similar oh. very similar but completely different size so that one's a size 18. Um, again, same sort of stretchy material. Ingenue. And I'm sure that this one is like a size 14. No, it is a size 18. So there you go. I don't know anything. And these should be exactly the same. Don't know. So they must be the same person because I've never picked up Ingenue. It is. It's the same. It's the same person. So there we go. I'm hoping that these actually sell for like the 30 mark. <laughs> hoping. Hoping. I mean, I haven't lost the belt, which is a bonus. <laughs> so we will see. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um... There's so much stuff here. There's so much stuff that needs to go on now because it's summer. I mean, because it's winter and not summer. Um, another four pounds spent here. This is Marks, Marks and Spencer's. This is Tesco, F and F. Florence and Fred, darling, Florence and Fred. These, these, these tags are in the way. These tags are in the way. So I've only picked that up. I've, I know I've paid £4, but I've it's 100% cashmere. Hence why I've got it. I have looked at it multiple times. No holes. It should be okay. So we're going with it. I do have other jumpers which I've picked up. Um, which need a lot of debobbling. I've got a t-shirt here. I ummed and ahed about this, but I think it is a decent, like, 20 pounder. I ummed and ahed because it was four. I don't know why it's four. I think it's just because it's All Saints. 
but it's it's medium I mean it's nice enough it's medium but I mean is anybody interested in All Saints it says love on it it's got a tiger on it <laughs> are people interested in it I don't know but I think, I mean, maybe I can push for 25. It's hard because I do offer free postage because it's just easier. I just, I, I hate it when I'm not available and people are messaging me. So this is three pounds. Let's take this off because it's in the way of the brand label. I hate it when people are messaging me for multiple discounts on things. and Or I hate it when I get a bad feedback based around my postage costs, even though I don't have, you know, heavy postage costs. So it's easier to, like, just avoid that. So this is obviously Andy Warhol. I have looked this up. This is in the size XL. Um, obviously just the soup, the pop art stuff. Um, but it is only Uniqlo. It's only going to be a 20 quidder. Menswear needs to go here. This, I'm hoping, I haven't actually looked it up. So much of this stuff is just sort of like sat around. My colleague actually put this aside for me, which is really nice of them. So I was really confused as to why this hadn't gone to the eBay store because all the other stuff from this brand has gone to the eBay shop. It's gone straight there. But I think it's because of the amount of stuff that they've got at the eBay shop that isn't getting processed. A lot of it's coming back. So yeah, just a waistcoat. Um, obviously knit. It's nothing like... If it was like tartan and it was fabulous, it would like really stand out as to what it is. It's Harris Tweed, but um, yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna get for this. It says, exclusively for Nigel Hall. So I've just come back from Scotland and I haven't like, it, there was lots of like Harris Tweed out there, but it's obviously not as high priced as you think it is because it really isn't. Um, but I've got, I've got lucky on that one because it was only a three pound jobby. So it's good. And not gone through the lining. So weirdly when my husband bought his suit, we did actually, I did actually look at some of the Harris Tweed that was in Slater's where he bought his suit. Um, and funnily enough, it was really expensive in there. So. I'm going to have to have a good dig round of exactly how much money I can get for that because I just don't know. Another brand here which I've never picked up before and I don't know how much it's worth. This is something that a lot of other people go on about. This is High Use by Claire Campbell. These were disgusting. Um, they absolutely they were they were like uh, they just felt so awful. So these have already been washed, hence why there's no tag on it. I've only paid three quid for these, um, but they were really they really stank. <laughs> and I think yeah, because the pockets are open at the back. Because I went through the pockets and there was like used tissues in here and other things, and they stank. <laughs> um, so yeah, other people, other resellers are rave about this. It's never something that turns up in the Northwest. So really pleased to find them. I'm hoping that it is true and it is like a 40 to 50 pound brand. We can only hope. I do have another pair of trousers here. Um, so weirdly, this is, this is a weird one. So three pounds I've paid for these. They're small, hence why nobody else bought them. These are the sort of things that I find at work when I'm having a tidy up of all the stuff, which is sort of like fallen down. So yeah, they are impossibly small. Um, it's Ted Baker. And then randomly, they're new with tags, but for some reason, it doesn't have the sticker on it. So it's supposed to have a sticker on there telling you, um, what the name of the garment is. The the tag is still here and it is genuine. Tag's there. So really weird. They're a nice stretchy pair of trousers. The Samelia don't know. It's stretchy waist, but it is size one, which I think that it's zero is the size six. So I do think that they are a size eight. 
but it's it's not great but i mean it's three pounds isn't it three pounds i can deal with right this this i've just washed but i know that that's covered in stuff so the last thing i've got here that's got a tag on it because now i'm not going to be like truthfully be able to tell you how much any of this stuff has cost because it's all been in my death pile accumulating this is another summary thing um hence why it hasn't sold but it is a good thing and i keep looking at the prices that hobbs actually is and i know that it's a lot of money so that's a hundred percent linen skirt obviously that'll do really well in the summer months i i don't mind listing stuff now people do go on holiday you know people if if people go on holiday and they need something they're going to look up ebay um and hopefully find what they need but i i really do start to wonder so that dress that you can see there that is the monsoon caramel dress i don't know if i've mentioned it before but this is the dress which i found in size 16 over the summer which i was going to wear to the wedding and um when i tried it on um it was very obvious that i have actually lost weight <laughs> uh so the dress that I've ended up wearing to the wedding it was actually, it's a size 10 to 12, a dress which I bought when me and Jason got together. So this would have been like 2008, I want to say. Yeah, because it's when we used to go out in, in before we'd moved up here and when we were still going out in Birmingham, because I remember buying it in Birmingham and the bull ring hadn't even been built. So I found this dress that I've managed to fit in, which I haven't been able to fit in before because it was making like ripping noises when I put it on. So I've been able to fit into this like size 12-ish dress um, and wear that, which over the summer I couldn't fit in because nothing that I had in my wardrobe would fit me. Hence why I bought that, which is size 16. That was, that was way too big. It just looked ridiculous. I put on a strapless bra and it just didn't make any difference. So... I have seemed to have, I've lost a stone since I started working because I've been on my feet all day and I'm walking to work and obviously I'm sort of having an enforced fast because I don't take a lunch break. I just, I work through because I'm only part-time hours um, and because I'm active and I'm walking to work. I, and, and also because I'm like eating late of, of a, if I work of an evening and I'm eating light. <laughs> it seems to have done the world of good. Anyway, I've lost a stone. I'm back down to a size 12. <laughs> so I now have this dress here, which is the monsoon caramel dress. Um, it's a lovely dress. I really like it. It's like ruched and the rest of it. I do actually have a size 10 version of this in my shop, which hasn't sold. So it's not that popular, but it's like a 1990s version. I've just gone to search this on eBay and I put monsoon caramel dress. And instead of it just bringing up the monsoon caramel dress, it tried to bring up camel dresses as well. And then I did the search again and then it just brought up every monsoon dress that it had so it gave me 4,000 results instead of what would be like 10 or 15 results for this specific dress because it's like quite a rare 1990s ver version so it was really aggravating and really annoying so I don't know what eBay have done to the search engine but they've buggered around with it again they're obviously um aspiring to be like um Poshmark was in the UK because one of the reasons that I never bought anything from Poshmark is because I had the same experience with Poshmark in that you would type something in and it would just come up with loads and loads of things it would never narrow down what you'd put in so it seems that eBay have now decided to onboard themselves with, with a search engine that doesn't work so great news fabulous news so, the next, back to the, the stuff which I have here. This has been in the wash um, because it's covered in hairs. So I have, I've done the lint, I linted it and I went over it. I did a bit of a D-bubble, um, linted it again, then washed it 
and it's still covered in bloody hairs so this is really aggravating um i've paid four pounds for this i don't know why i keep doing this this is rap london i mean i have sold rap london but i've also got a lot of like rap london which won't go anywhere um i know that there's a reason why i've gone with this i think it's got cashmere in it 90 percent merino will and 10 percent cashmere so i was just like oh okay then i have a woolen dress at the minute and that has silk and cashmere um gets a lot of watches but none of them actually like want to like part with their cash so so i'm gonna have to lint that again they probably shouldn't have got involved in that because it's aggravating and annoying and uh. right anyway let's zoom through the rest of this stuff uh <laughs> uh dancing leopard this has only cost me three pounds because i wouldn't have touched it with the barge pole if it was anything more than that it's a basic shirt dress obviously it's got the leopard on it um i'm hoping that i can get 20 another thing which is just tanked in price used to be fabulous now isn't um this is a very strange one um as you know one of my pet hates is lots and lots of shit on the floor of the changing room and it winds me up and then I have to like put it all away and I'm just like why can't why can't you put it on the hanger why why have you got to throw it all on the floor and be like this and then on the rare occasion I'll pick something up off the floor um which makes it all better <laughs> and this is one of them <laughs> so this dress here um I have looked it up I think I can get 50 pounds for it so weirdly the original price for this was 350 pounds <laughs> it's kate spade um i think i've paid five i think yeah i've paid five for five for this so yeah it's a kate spade never found kate spade obviously it's as small as you can flipping well get but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like leave it there on the floor I mean, who the hell would go into a charity shop, try something on, <laughs> know that it's a £350 dress, and then not buy it? <laughs> what? How, how weird is that? <laughs> oh, this is another one that's, like, weirded me out as well, because obviously I, like, walk into work and I, like, see stuff, and this was, this was on the size 6, so it was always at the front, and it was always something that I've sort of, like, moved around, and I never actually looked at, the, looked at what it was, even though, you know, you can tell, if you know this brand, you know that this is their, you know, go-to print, aqua scutum, and I think I would have bought it, if, you know, just normally, <laughs> and it's only, like, new with tags, so that's an absolute bonus it was originally 69 pounds so yeah it's a size six but um it's just obviously aquascutum is discontinued it's made in england somebody will want this um yeah the reba micro check boat neck top so really pleased with that i paid three quid <laughs> paid three quid and loads of other people have overlooked it usually i should like take that as a sign one of the things that i have noticed since i've been working in a charity shop because i've obviously been there a year and there's brands that i will see i will stay away from from fat face and white stuff little tops um a, some a lot of the kim and co stuff although i sell that really quickly generally I will stay away from that unless it's like a really big size because I'm constantly having to like tidy up the shelves and make sure the hangers are pointing the same way and you know put all everything in size order I see things which are in the charity shop which never go anywhere even though they're priced at three pounds and Kim and Co and white stuff generally don't shift the fat face stuff that does tend to, tend to sell quite fast but even some of the um, jewel stuff sticks around. So it's weird. 
So, here we are with the sea salt item that I've actually managed to pick up. Um, I'm shocked. I don't, I don't know if this means that it's been like overwashed, this colouring that I've got on here. But it says size 24. Whoa. So, what a bonus. So this makes up for the fact that obviously I'm working there. Uh, and I don't know why I can't ever, why I haven't like zoned in on the print of a lot of these coats, but are the amount of coats which I've sold that have um, that are sea salt <laughs> um, just recently. It, it is ridiculous. The care label isn't um, washed out like the other thing. Maybe it's just because it's a different fabric and it doesn't take the print. The Adventurer tunic. But a size 24, I should do really well with that. So I should be able to get £25. A lot of this stuff will be listed now just because I like to get it listed and put away where it's safe and nothing's not going to get forgotten about or it's not going to go mouldy. I just like things to be nicely tidied away. Now, if somebody wants to buy it now, they can. Um, and um, if it's still there at the summer months, it's already done. I don't have to think about it. Another All Saints top. I don't know why I've bought this. Um, probably because it's got this Union Jack detail on the back. Um, and it's got this quote um, about London. You know, if you're tired of London, you're tired of life. Is that the quote or is it not? It's not that geezer that's just died, is it? I'll have to look that up. It might not be. But I know that there's a poet called Benjamin somebody or other that's just recently passed on. Um, it's really a really bonus if it is them. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't it? <laughs> so the red print actually spells out All Saints. That's really cool. I didn't notice that. Only a £3 top, um, but I think it's in extra small as well. Oversized small fit. So bonus, great. Women's stuff doesn't sell that well, hence why I'm always a bit reluctant. What on earth is this? And of the stories. Don't know why I've done this. Um, I've got an and of the stories there, and I know that it's not selling because um, I've got my box. I have a big box here of all my knitwear, which I'm just going to do a stock take on and relist. And I know that it's not selling because there's another one that's been there since uh, October. So this, so I seem to have like picked up another one here. This has got to be mohair as well. It's bobbly, so now I've like given myself another job to do. Um, need to learn my lesson. Alpaca, alpaca, three percent alpaca. The rest of it's annoying stuff. These I shouldn't have picked up because I didn't look. I didn't open my flipping eyes. I just thought. Oh, Edwin jeans. I shouldn't have bought them. These are going to have to go on auction because they're wrecked. Edwin jeans. Oh, we love Edwin. We do love an Edwin jean. Um, I will have only paid three pounds for those, but I will put them on auction. Um, it just says ED forty-seven regular, so nothing like to write home about. They are salvage, um, but they're also ditched hence why they were probably only three pounds but that is not a, that's not a good start and i think the crotch is screwy as well <sighs> maybe not as bad as i think it is uh, i don't really want yeah they are screwy so yeah it's not come through but inside <laughs> Inside it looks like that, so it's awful. Um, it just it doesn't look so bad from that bit, but it looks awful inside. Um, so I'm just going. Do you know I'm not going to even get into it with them. I'm not going to like try and like make them prettier than they are. They're just going to go on auction. <laughs> it doesn't need to be. Um, doesn't need to be any more stressful than it is. Right. Um, I've got a few more things left here, but I keep gassing on, don't I? I do keep gassing on. So, I'm going to call this video a day. I'm going to put it on, and then I'm going to put this in. Um, 
I'm going to do another video because it's just easier <laughs> to do two videos and upload just as two videos because it just makes it if it's a long video it makes it very difficult for eBay for eBay for, for YouTube to cope with it it makes my computer wacky uh, so I'm going to call it a day here so this is part one part one is done part one will upload now and I will see you very soon with part two so thank you for watching oh yes like and subscribe goodbye